Your blood what is the reason that you are insecure I want you to take it to the Lord and say Lord whatever sins of my father my father's my great-grandfather's generational sins it shall have no effect on me in the name of spirit of rebellion shall not be in my house in the name of Jesus we are starting fresh with me my house my family we are starting fresh But to the proud, what does he do? He resists the proud. So somebody who is going through great pain, great valleys, the more you can humble yourself, something is happening. More grace is coming to you. You are in the valley, humble yourself more. You are feeling rejected by your brothers, humble yourself more. You feel your father has not noticed you. Humble yourself more. The more you humble yourself, something is happening. Grace is being multiplied in your life. In the kingdom of God, grace is to those who humble themselves. You can watch it in the words because the reflection of the heart is in the words they speak. The more you allow your heart to humble, the more you will begin to see grace being multiplied to you. And the opposite is true. It says the more you allow pride in your heart, you are receiving something from God. What is that? Resistance. The more you are humble, you receive what? Grace. The more you are proud, you receive from God what? Resistance. So look into your life and see do I see resistance in my life? If there's anybody that says, ah, that's not me, then you are the suspect. As a child of God, this week, I want you to say, every insecurity is a sign of pride. Every insecurity is a Sign of pride. No matter how you mask your insecurity, no matter how much you blame your brothers, no matter how much you blame your father, every insecurity is a sign of pride. How easy would it be for Reuben to say, look, I, 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 did, I wouldn't, wasn't planning to do all this, but they are choosing Joseph. I can see that they don't love me. I can see that Joseph is his favorite. I can see. Jo his insecurity was justified. His insecurity was justified. Absalom's rebellion was justified. That is why a great group of people followed Absalom. They said, yay, I'm on Absalom's team. It was justified. They said, yeah, look, the, the, the king doesn't have time to talk to any of you. He's very busy. You come. I will talk to you. I'll spend time with you. I will fellowship with you. Look out. But there are some people like Elisha's with understanding. I will say, Lord, I'm not here for a blessing. I'm here for the blesser. Amen. Don't leave me with this mantle and take away your presence from yes. me. Hey, my goodness, my goodness. That means you can be left with the mantle. And the owner of the mantle is nowhere near. I want you to say, God, don't let my insecurities eat me up. Don't let my insecurities eat me up. Can I show you something very profound and then I pray and close? If there was anybody that was supposed to have insecurities, <laughs> there is nobody else that was more worthy to be insecure like Jesus he was 
he he would probably be the greatest victim that ever existed on the planet not you not you not you <laughs> yeah, some of you are like no 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 you don't know what i've gone through hey jesus had everything in heaven he had what everything he was the creator of everything now everything was stripped away from the creator everything was not taken from you and the father said you you are going down to the earth why me send an angel <laughs> the guy is anyway flying around doing nothing yeah. send him yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why me why me i am the one who created it he said no 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 you are my beloved son so i am going to trust you more the father considered him beloved enough to know that even if i strip him of everything he's still going to be a beloved son how about us as a child of god we we are a, a car tire got flat and you already questioning god do you really love me a flat tire has caused you to question the goodness of god <laughs> a smallest issue jesus was stripped of everything and then he was sent to earth as a human as a man the, the man that he created he said now you have to go down like that and then he said okay no problem i i shall do it with joy my father i should go i said oh by the way son sorry i couldn't find you a good hotel I looked all the rooms are booked. I'm sorry I picked this date for you. What do you mean that? Where 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 am I going to land? Which is my landing location? I I found a manger. It stinks a little like sheep, but but that's a good place for you. If there is anybody that is supposed to have insecurity, that is Jesus. Yeah. This is the father that I loved. I created everything with him. I was in partnership with him. You oh he and I is what we created all this world. And now he humiliates me. Not enough that he sends me to earth. He sends me to be born in a stinking place. You can find a gold mine. <laughs> Victim mentality. Jesus built the whole thing together with the father but at moments notice he was ready to leave everything behind and go down ah you're too quiet this morning listen he goes to school just to find out that the kids have a rumor about his father talk about victim Do you know they don't think that Joseph is his real father? What do you mean Joseph is not No 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 I heard that Joseph wanted to leave his mother. There's something happening about it. There was rumors spreading. Talk about being a victim. Bullied in the class because his mother was a teenager when she got pregnant with him. Talk about humiliation. talk about the fact that he said you don't know who your father is your mama you talking about victim look at him 30 years he's on earth and the father does not talk about him 30 years he came to save the planet for 30 years he just had to be a son no ministry no promotion no angels no declaration this is my beloved son no miracles no signs no wonders 30 years living as a commoner secure secure can you imagine if it was us all kinds of mind attacks would have gone oh i did all this for my father look i'm just wasting this time it's 5 years he has given me no assignment his 10 years he's not used me it's 20 years how come he's not promoted me he's 25 i'm getting old <laughs> you know i'm telling the truth we would have built mind attacks heart attacks emotional attacks our diabetics would have gone up blood pressure would have gone up to the roof i'm telling you it would be great problems it would be great problems but the scripture says he was secure 
insult on insult there was no greater insult when he said you have to now carry the sins of the earth lord but i didn't do it and yet i get blamed for it you see all the all the marital fights but i didn't do it but she saying you did it no i did you did it i did ah. all the sins of the world was carried by whom did he commit the sin but yet the blame was whom the blame was on him the sin was on him yet he stretched his hands and said father into your hands i commit my spirit secure to the point where the bible says father had to turn his face away the father had to turn his face away. where he screamed elai elai lama sabatani my god my god why has thou forsaken me forsaken by the father yet securely in the center of the will of god he refused to become a participation with the spirit of lucifer he refused to become a victim he refused to act like the world was not fair he refused to allow the lies of the enemy to affect him can you imagine lucifer coming to jesus and saying bro i told you man he kicked me out he's going to kick you out look he's he's turning his face away from you yet secure because he knows who he is and because he knew who he is he was elevated to the highest place the right hand side of the father child of god elevation is coming to you when you can fight every lies of the enemy elevation is coming to you when you can fight every insecurities that is sent by the enemy to steal your blessing so i want you to this week i want you to look into your heart and say i am not a victim ah your mama may have left you when you were young your father may have rejected you when you were young it does not matter you are still loved by jesus it does not matter who has hurt you it does not matter if the spirit of the accuser is accusing you you are rooted in christ that's why the bible says he was like a lamb unto slaughter would not open his mouth stayed calm because he knows who he is what we want is the favor of god and god cannot give us that favor if he finds us shaky he looks at ruben and say you shall become unstable as the water the rest of the history records out of the tribe of ruben there was no doctors there were no great engineers there were no prophets there were no judges nobody of preeminence was ever recorded in the tribe of ruben in fact when that rebellion happened during the time of moses there were a group of a tribe sons that was the children of ruben years later decades later the spirit of rebellion kept manifesting in that blood in that tribe in that generation after generation where years later decades later the earth swallowed them up so you have to wonder what was the blessing of jacob or the curse of jacob what was he saying you shall have no preeminence you shall be like water throw water on the ground what does the ground do swallow it what happened to his children the ground swallowed him because you you ask the children it's like why i don't understand why there is rebellion in me somewhere in my blood there was somebody that wanted to take that which was not yours even now the blood is fighting me 
Even now, the blood is making me rebel. Even now, this blood is making me want to take things by force. Even now, my blood is not allowing me to shut my mouth. Even now, my blood is not allowing me to be humble. Look into your blood. What is the reason that you are insecure? I want you to take it to the Lord and say, Lord, whatever sins of my father, my fathers, my great grandfathers, generational sins, it shall have no effect on me in the name of God. It shall not pass down to me in the name of Jesus. Spirit of rebellion shall not be in my house in the name of Jesus. We are starting fresh with me, my house, my family. We are starting fresh. Look into your blood. Say, so what is it that is fighting to take me away from the presence of God? What is it in my blood that is attracted to people that rebel? What is it in my blood that my friendship is with those who rebel? What is it in my blood that attracts abusers? What is it in my blood that any time I marry, I end up marrying people that abuse me? What is it in my blood that is drawn to trouble? I disconnect you from that in the mighty name of Jesus. Listen. If the blessing of Jacob began a trajectory in the life of Reuben that they could not turn away. I want you to know there is a blessing in Jacob that comes from his spirit, Israel, that can turn the trajectory of evil. So this may not be for everybody, but if you can recognize the work that God is doing from here, I'm going to say a prayer. I'm seeing, stand up please. I see a vision of bulldozers. Bulldozers. I see bulldozers doing heavy lifting this morning. Do you know, do you know the, the, the scooping bulldozers? Am I saying the right word? I'm seeing one, two, three. I see bulldozers. I see, I see ground being dug. And I see the Lord say, you shall find precious metals. There have been people that you think you are good for nothing. You think that you are just a quagmire. Nothing good has come from your family. Nothing great has come from your family. But words are going to be spoken about you today right now. One more time. I want to declare, Jacob said, gather yourself together. I may tell you what shall happen to you in the days to come. You have now gathered. Can my spirit declare over you what is going to happen in the days to come? It is true what they said. You were a quagmire. It is true what they said. You are a great mess. It is true the, what they said about you. That it was dirty and it was dirt all over. It was earth filled ground. But I have something to say about that. A greater word. A superior word. The word that the blood of Jesus is talking about you. The words that the blood of Jesus is speaking about you in heaven. May I declare the heart of God. In this very earth that was rejected by man, the Lord is about to make a great discovery, says the Lord. You are going to discover precious metals. You are going to discover gold. You are going to discover diamonds. You are going to discover the supernatural. They said nothing good shall come out of you, but you are going to prove them wrong in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to declare this over you. When the whole family said nothing good shall come out of you, the Lord will make them see that you are a wonder. Yeah. 
Open your mouth and begin to pray in the spirit right now. Things that they never thought that will be seen in you will begin to be discovered in you in the days to come in the mighty name of Jesus. Something is happening right now. In your home, something is happening. Whatever demon influenced your cousin, influenced your aunt, your uncle, to speak words of negativity, that this one is dumb, this one nothing good shall come, the same person shall look at you and confess that they were wrong about you. That they are discovering wonders about you in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody is asking, Lord, will anything good come out of me? Will anything good come out of me? I hear the cry of Leah in the room. There are some Leah's crying. There are some Leah's crying. Will I be loved? Will anything good come out of me? Will I get the heart of my husband? The Spirit of the Lord did not bring you here to just hear a sermon and go back. The Spirit of the Lord brought you here so that you might discover that there is greatness shut inside of you. Whatever the enemy lied to you, Every insecurity that the enemy lied to you, I break it in the mighty name of Jesus. Every lies that you grew up with, today I tear it apart in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever lie you believe from your own father and mother, I tear it apart in the mighty name. Somebody shout Jesus as loud as you can. The Lord says, you went through so much in your childhood and you thought if I get married to the right person, everything is going to be solved and you got married to the right person and yet you are being conflicted and yet you are being broken and yet you feel like you are without destiny. The Spirit of the Lord is speaking to somebody. No individual coming into your life is going to help you unless you begin to help yourself through the eyes of the word of God. If you will begin to transform your mind by the renewal of mind, of the word of God, the perspective of God, the healing is going to come and you are going to rise up and you are going to be a history maker in the land. Child of God, I want you to know you are connected to a high live wire in this place that you can be secure again I want to declare you are good looking (laughs) some of you don't want to say amen because you're like I don't want anybody to know that that's for me but amen Lord (laughs) I want to declare you are beautiful I want to declare you are precious to the Lord. I want to declare you are not dumb. You are blessed. You are loved by the Lord. This morning, I hear your groom being jealous for you. Did you hear me? I said the groom. Our groom is who? Jesus. I see him jealous for you. He's sad at the way your spouse has treated you because he cares for you. He is shedding tears with you. Every time you shed a tear, even Jesus sheds a tear. He is looking at you with compassion and he wants you to receive this word that you are healed, you are whole, you are not what they said they are. You will not live in insecurity. You are rising up! The next two and a half, three years, your trajectory is changing to the point where those that said nothing good will come out of you is coming back to you. 
And I want to let you know that the Lion of Judah is declaring something to you right now. The time is coming, Joseph, that those that chased you away are the ones that will come to your door and you will be in charge, responsible of feeding them. This is the word of the Lord. I said, this is the word of the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. The very same people that rejected you is coming searching for you. At the moment, they are asking for your phone number. They're trying to get in touch with you. This week, may you get a call that will shock you. Hey, my God is good. Oh, I hear that in the spirit. Because you are going to declare, my God is good. I want you to open your mouth and say, I am not hurt. I am not bitter. I have no unforgiveness. I don't care what they're doing. I am blessed. I am free. I am more loved than I am hated. Ah. Some of you need to confess it and break every lie in your heart. I want you to say it out loud. Turn to your neighbor and tell them, I am more loved than I am hated. Come on, tell them. Tell them. Tell one more person. Tell one more person. Find another person. Come on, quickly. Quickly. Oh, rakasa ta ta ta. Let every lie break, 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 break. 